to our channel. I am Heather and this is my sister Holly and today we are going to talk about anti-aging products and what we can do for our skin um, now that we are oh over 40. More, more over, over, 40. over 40. So I'll let Holly get started. I think the biggest secret that we all forget or don't think about until it's too late is sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen. When we were okay, young, mom. I know, right? Yeah, right. But but listen, we just talked about because when we were young, we were out there with the baby oil, sometimes butter. Right. No, Hawaiian Tropic know. dark oil. The oil. You and know, you all like, did it. You know, you did it. Down, let you it grew down. up in the '80s. You did it. And it didn't have anything but like SPF eight or fifteen. Maybe. And, Maybe. And we and we didn't even want to buy it when it had 15 because we were like, oh, we're not going to get any sun. Not going to get a tan. And it's the thing we just don't think about. But mm -hmm. now that we're over 40, it's like, oh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. We should have thought about it, but nobody mm -hmm. told us because back in the 80s, the, all this just wasn't a hot topic. It wasn't relevant. But we're telling you now. Mm -hmm. So listen to us, sisters. As big sisters, we're um, going to big sister lecture you now. So, so that's sunscreen okay, is super fun. important. But you've even taken it um, a step further, I think, this year, or this mm -hmm. year, where you not only put it on your face. Mm -hmm. Daily. But I have become completely obsessed with keeping a sunscreen in my car. Um, I have tinted windows in my car, which is, is wonderful, and it, and it does help cut down on the heat, it cut, down on, cut down on the sun. However, when I'm driving to work in the morning, I'm driving into the sun. And when I'm driving home from work, I'm driving into the sun. And that's just the nature of it. So I keep a sunscreen in my car. I keep the Banana Boat Ultra Defense and SPF 50 in my car. It's a good um, idea. And the first thing I do, I get it, I get in my car, I turn it on, I crank up that air because it's yeah. boiling hot here in the valley. And um, I put this on my hands, but I don't rub it in like this. Oh. Because I don't want it all over my steering all over my wheel. steering Talk wheel. So accident. right. Well, and it just and my steering wheel's black and then it gets chalky and I can't even deal. Yeah. So a little squirt and I go like this, you know, I got my sunglasses on and my seatbelt and I've I've got the air cranked up and I've gone like this because my hands are on the steering wheel. Now, I've also gone a step further and put it on my chest if I'm wearing mm -hmm. a top that's low cut because the sun does reflect in through the windshield and Plus can your, cause your problems. front windshield isn't tinted. It's not. It's right. your sides. Exactly. So this, this decolletage. My decollete. Um, I should totally be doing that because I definitely sunscreen my hands to keep uh, my ink looking really uh, fresh and not faded mm -hmm. and it will help. I usually lather up my arms if I'm going to be outside for any series of time. But instead of just doing it for your ink to be fresh, Heather's kind of doing it to prevent sunspots on our hands because you were saying earlier right. you can do a facelift, you can do laser skin mm -hmm. resurfacing, you've got all kinds of um, anti-aging um, things from here, to up. from here up, right. but you can't really overhaul your hands, although mm -hmm. I think they are doing some hand overhaul Yeah, but thing. not for the everyday lady. I know. Right. Are, and we, I mean, are we everyday I, ladies? I'm afraid we are everyday <laughs> ladies. but. Uh, but seriously, it's I mean, a good start. Nothing shows a woman's age more than looking at her hands. And I don't care how many times you go and you get a professional manicure. If you got those liver spots, girl, it ain't look. It ain't good. Yeah, it ain't it's good. Going it's going downhill. to. It's going to age you. And I have noticed, um, probably in the last two to three years, that I'm starting to get little spots mm -hmm. because I didn't wear sunscreen when I was. 10, 15, 20, 25. I wasn't doing enough yeah. to prevent what is now coming out in my early 40s. Um, and I'm angry and regretting it that it's that it's now That's why I think coming out. You right. can't see liver right. You can't see that. Yes, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> that so won't be happening here. from here down. Right. Yeah. I think I've got like one little like sunspot on my cheek mm -hmm. and as long as I do um, some good full coverage uh, foundation or um, concealer over that but that's mm -hmm. for another video what I also want to talk about is um, putting this on as your first step to getting ready every single day mm -hmm. so Heather's got you covered for in the car doing your hands but um, the things that that we actually found out that we had in common when we brought our sunscreen to the table was that each one of them had the word sheer 
on the packaging. Mm -hmm. So um, Heather's uh, said sheer on the packaging. These few that I'm about to show you also has sheer on the packaging, which is really important mm -hmm. as your first step before you start getting ready, before you put on your face primer, before you put on uh, your foundation or whatever makeup you're going to wear that day. I think. The reason that I gravitate towards these is because it is sheer. Right. And you still wear that even though your foundation perhaps has SPF in it. Absolutely. Right. Right. Absolutely. That's not enough. The SPF in the foundation, it's not enough. Well, and you don't take the foundation down your neck and on your decolletage and, and True. You put it on your hands. True. Right. So no. if I could create like a booth to kind of step into and have like the sunscreen mist all over you, would yeah. that be a thing? Sure. Can that be a thing? It can be a thing. All right, let me show you what I got. So my favorite drugstore um, sunscreen is by Neutrogena, but it can be a little expensive. So I kind of found a generic brand for it. Here where we are in Louisville, we have uh, Kroger as our grocery store. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kroger has a their own kind of generic brand of Neutrogena. The mm -hmm. package looks really similar, doesn't it? Does. It does, yes. Um, this is the, uh, the Kroger Sheer Dry Touch. You can also find this in the brand Neutrogena. This can be a little bit more, a um, little bit less expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that's 50 SPF or higher. And we also talked about how it needed to be broad uh, spectrum. Absolutely. It has to be broad spectrum. It has to cover, it has to protect you from um, UVA. the UVA, the UVB as together in order for it to be completely effective. And it will say that on your product. It'll say broad spectrum directly on, on the product and you wanna make sure it has that before you. Definitely look for that. To and then I always do over 50 SPF. What do you mm -hmm. look for? 50. Okay. Yeah. Because I do, I have some 50, um, let's see, this Hawaiian Tropic uh, is the 50 SPF. I also have an awesome spray. I couldn't find the spray in the generic formula, but uh, I was out on the boat yesterday. Can you tell? Okay, because I use this. Uh, this is one of those aerosols. Um, I usually don't do an aerosol, but to be on the boat and need to, like I said, spray down, I should mm -hmm. just stepped in a booth of. Did you spray. did you reapply during the day? Did you have to reapply? Did I reapply? Oh, she reapplied apparently. But my first step is she's white as ever. The, <laughs> the, the sheer, um, the Kroger brand, the generic brand. This is my favorite because it really does sheer out. You can't tell that you have it on. It's not oily or greasy if you look for the word sheer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times people will think that it's better to do like um, sunscreen that's made for kids, but that stuff's thick and sticky and gross mm -hmm. and wet and it never absorbs, it never really dries. Um, a lot of my friends had said, oh, I just get, I use what my kids use. Ah. when they're out at the pool and all of that and it's it doesn't ever um, dry down enough for you to put your makeup on without right. looking like an oil slip. And that's okay for the pool if you're going to the pool and you're not wearing makeup although this one wore makeup to the lake yesterday anyway. I did. But she but yeah no I mean if you're at the pool and kidding. you're not wearing makeup and you don't care I mean your kids as long as it's high enough and it's broad spectrum I think is okay but to your point I mean it's all about what's gonna go on under your makeup so. Okay so to recap Start now with the SPF, Please. just do it. Don't be like us, <sighs> if we had only known. Keep some in your car. Or uh, your purse. Broad spectrum. Right, very good. Anything 50 or higher, I would say. And it needs to be every day. Even if it's cloudy outside, don't be fooled that you, or if it's winter, don't be fooled that you can't, that you can't get burned or can't have, even if you don't have a burn, you can still have sun damage. Right. There can still be sun damage and, um, you want to be pretty when you're over 40. I know. Right, because 40 is the new 30, in case you hadn't heard. Is so, it? Right. So So we're just 30? Yeah, evidently, yes. If we had done sunscreen when we were 10, we would be... Oh, we'd look 20. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Ready? Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Holly. I'm Heather. And today we're going to be talking about sunscreen. All right, you do it. <laughs> okay, um, welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I am Heather. I'm Holly. And today we are gonna talk about sunscreen.
Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I am Heather. I'm Holly. And today we're going to talk about the secrets of looking young because if you have not heard, 40 is the new 30. Had you heard that? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> she doesn't have time for that. She has a hot boyfriend. <laughs> Who is under 40? <laughs> <laughs> 